Hi guys, here is my weekly challenge. Uh, so, this week's challenge was uh, the heroic efforts. I call it that way because uh, we have heroes uh, from the storm and also propagators are both heroic and also challenges are not too easy. So you need to put a little bit more effort than usual to beat this. We have two players here. We have a Stuko player Jedrex and we have Judas here playing as uh, Zagara. So I can a little bit fast forward because nothing much is happening. Spawning pool is going early, which is pretty good because uh, Bane links are really good unit in these kind of situations. And of course, Baneling nest immediately when it completes. Now, Hedrex is building a factory. He is, of course, frightful flesh welder. You don't want to go Lord of the Horde when you have uh, propagators and heroes. <coughs> so, Banelings. Okay, he is not uh, taking the Baneling speed. Uh, I don't know why is he delaying so much the lair. Or, yeah, because. Uh, Okay, now layer starts. A little bit late, but still okay. Uh, he didn't take. I also don't take uh, centrifugal hooks first. I like to take. Uh, this is the most uh, important upgrade: corrosive acid. Okay, let's slow it down now. So we have the first propagator dealt with by the bane links, and now. Or Zerglinger clearing it. I like this. I like not using Bane links on structures. That's a waste. And of course, we have diamond bags. We also have the the slime upgrade, which is very important. Apocalypse here. We'll deal with Raynor. Raynor is not so hard to deal with. Zerglings here. Zergling evasion master. You can see it in effect. And we have some. Diamond gets okay. They are <laughs> they got bailing scourge. It's not ideal. By the way, in this challenge, uh, I actually forbade forbade to use any non zerg commanders. So you uh, commanders that could have been used here were, of course, Kerrigan, Zagara, Abatur de Haka, Statman. Or who did I forget? Oh, Stukov. Yeah. <laughs> So, the six Zerg commanders, and they chose uh, Stukov plus uh, Zagara. It's actually a pretty good combination, and yes, he is getting corrosive acid first. Little bit late, uh, you ask me, but uh, I think yeah, it's, it's good that he take this uh, first. Now we have the Haka. Now the Haka is uh, kind of annoying, but he's not... Uh, not uh, grabbing anything, or he maybe grabbed some zerglings or something that I didn't see. Okay. Now, uh, Alexander over here. Now, if uh, even if you don't go bonus, it's good to clear that those structures so they don't, so props don't spawn. Okay, banlings are dealing. So Judas is basically dealing with props while. Uh, uh, Jedrex Stukov is uh, pretty much dealing with uh, everything else over here for now. Okay, so this can be infested. Let's see. And yeah, so these uh, monoliths that Karak spawn can be infested. Now, I don't like using much uh, of this. Okay, now we done not many prop spawn. Prop is over here, so this can be used. But uh, later, like, uh, if uh, it run into props, then it can farm a lot of propagators, so that's uh, not really very good. Okay. Usually I would use Alexander to clear next area, but now when we have heroes, of course, that is... Uh, need a little bit more firepower here. Okay, okay, I kill these guys. You know, this slime is very good for killing zerglings, and especially now when we have banelings too. I like to slow them down. Okay, Zerglings are fighting here. Banelings are being kept here. Also some Scourge. Okay, and also Slime is good for dealing damage and slowing the props. So that's also the thing. And the fact that Diamondbacks can fire uh, 
they can fire on the move that makes them really good in this kind of situation also dodging nasty spells that uh, heroes can uh, hit you with okay so uh, guys actually stay tuned for uh, tomorrow's video uh, I might might have told you this in the end but I might forget so uh, tomorrow I'll be casting solo runs of this okay oh we have a nuke over here unfortunately this will be damaged and this egg whatever was in it probably diamondback died but okay Nova goes down now okay I have two workers in each of these I think it should be fully saturated but now minerals are actually the problem here we have Overlord Speed, we'll need this, yeah, for Zeratul, although it's Shedrex's primary thing to kill the heroes. Okay, bonus is not cleared. Okay, there is Apocalisk. Okay, now they are both going, but there should always be some... Uh, that's kind of a move, but uh, and potential needs to be paid to these props. But okay, it's good to help because uh, it's not enough diamondbacks to actually clear everything else. So Zagara needs uh, to help. Okay, let's see if oh Judas is coming back. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, props are being dealt with. Okay, now this wave, okay, it's kind of bad to fight, oh, that will be a lot of bad banelings, a lot of dead banelings. Uh, okay, a lot of stuff needed, and Zagara, uh, Zagara has uh, 20, 200, 200, yeah, 250, so, uh, 2,250, so, uh, she doesn't fall easy, I mean, there are even tankier heroes that will be coming. Okay, now uh, we have, uh, yeah, you can see how I never engage Banelings head on because if the, a few of them connect it can be a disaster. And we also have Zeratul, who has Blink, so I need to run, run, run. And okay, still a liar. Zeratul has 2000 shields and 2000 HP, so not easy to kill. Now we have, oh, there's a lot of banelings here. Okay. The good thing is that he has 116 supply. I'm uh, keeping the Yadrex's yeah, thing because not much to show with Zagara. The supply changes a lot, so uh, better to show this. And there is no top bars. So. Uh, I'm showing the Yadrex's view. Okay, um, now we have some props over here. Now they spawn two by two. Later it will be five in the end game. Yeah, Diamondbacks also have pretty good DPS 22 and 33 versus armored. This is also armored. And weapon speed, look at that's actually like 40 DPS or 40, more than 40 DPS against armor targets, weapon speed 0.77. So Diamondbacks are really good dam damage dealers. The one thing that li lack is uh, the rapid regen, they only have normal Zerg regen. Okay, now this area is pretty much dealt with. It should be a uh, one more wave, okay, and there is Kerrigan, okay, I need to run, Apocalypse does 300 damage, so, area damage, so it won't, well, Judas, of course, wouldn't be Judas, I know Judas, he wouldn't be going for bonus, now uh, he's gonna kill this, yeah, Drex is gonna clear, okay, it's all about Tobars, but you can see that he is not using it for structure, and he has the mastery for infrastructure, so this is one thing that he sh should have changed. He has no compound, but volatile infested spawn chance mastery actually affects Alexander. <coughs> so I think he should have actually used that to be better, as he only used. Uh, okay, Judas now didn't see the trainer actually spawn. Is always one hero spawn. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, that's kind of a little bit bad rally. But okay, it was dealt with. But good thing is the trainer doesn't deal a lot of damage. So, uh, so now Jesus is coming back. He probably didn't even realize he probably going just for this prop. Okay, need detection to kill Zeratul and to kill these hosts. Okay, now if he goes here, he probably will, ah, just goes here to... But look at this, even this Reno didn't even uh, kill half a shield. So I think it, if it was any other hero, it would actually kill the bonus by now, but now he can buy the last bonus. Okay, Diamondbacks are going here. Uh, good thing to pull back overseers while dealing with spore crawlers not to get them take damage. And also, whenever you have binding skirt, that will be a lot of that overall. So you can see now, uh, actually, Alexander deals 20 damage to a uh, unit uh, with each drop, with each egg it drops, but it's not much, so it's almost nothing. So biggest damage Alexander will actually deal over here is by falling on these enemies when it timeouts or gets killed. No, it, it won't get. Uh, Destroyed what will time out, so look at this, this is the thing. But with uh, Volatile Infested Spawn Chance Mastery, actually, Alexander would kill off all these units because there will be, I think, at least like six or seven Volatile Infested that it would drop. And they do a lot of damage. Okay, now... Okay. Now, as everything is clear over here, all the props will uh, come in their face, which is good because uh, the less props you need to deal with, like over here, spawning from this, they can still spawn from these white circles, which are indestructible structures. So on this map, y you cannot prevent them from spawning, but it's better to they come in your face, so you don't have to keep a lot of stuff at home. So actually, uh, Judas, Zagara can... Uh, actively help here pushing because otherwise it would be pretty much overwhelming for just uh, uh, Stuko. But good thing is that he's uh, almost max. He's on 2-2 upgrade, so that's pretty good. Ooh, okay. But yeah, parasitic bomb still connected, so although the evaded scourge. Yeah. Ooh, that's a prop here, but good, good uh, attention here by Judas. Okay. Um... Now, we have this tower over there. We're probably waiting for the wave first. Okay, I think yeah, that was that wave that already came. Okay, good thing is dealing with the Bane Leaks. Now only Scourge left, but they will be dealt with before they can connect with the Overseers. Okay, this prop is being dealt with. Okay, now we have Zagara, we also have... who else? Is it... Hmm... Did I hear somebody else? It seems it's only Zagara, okay. A fungal snare has only 30 second cooldown, so I can do a lot of... Deal with a lot of area. Okay, now we have a uh, Kerrigan. Use the Apocalypse. Okay, now Kerrigan is still very dangerous, even when she uses her main thing because she has Leaping Strike. Look at this Energy Blast. Her, her uh, Leaping Strike, Psionic Shift, and the uh, Auto Attack damage dealing 200. So that's uh, that's. Uh, A lot of damage, and she also, she is nominally the tankiest hero, having 5,000. But Artanis is actually the hardest to kill, as he has 2,000 shields, 2,000 HP, and of course Resurrection and the Astral Wind that can heal him by, uh, I think, for like three, four hundred health or something. Um, well, maybe I click on Artanis when next time he appears. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Okay, good thing is yeah to kill this uh, dominator from the high ground. Okay, now it's kind of pretty comfortable game, but you can still make a mistake like one nuke in the middle of these guys and they would all die. So 
You have always been... Okay, ooh, now Judas starts bonus, but now we have four heroes over here. Zagara, Tychus and something that I think is another Raynor. So we have... Oh, Artie is hard to kill. Well, Yadrex can't help because he is very busy over here. Okay, there's still Arty here. Okay, at least keeping him busy not to attack the bonus. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff here. And a Dominator and Storm here. Oh, something got pooped. Okay, a few of them got pooped, but he's still maxed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that was well, in the end he managed to deal with Artanis with the help of okay this uh, Alexander is actually a waste there. Okay, he is left uh, a moving everything there. Okay, now he is actually adding more factories just because to spend money, and also a lot of uh, overseers that are uh, at least like ten dead by now I think, or well, maybe not ten, but six or seven dead. So now he is max, he can spend all resources on overseers, which is pretty good. Okay, this is this tower, but this gets using Scourge for that is the best option. Ooh, we have poop over here. We have a propagator over here coming to poop these things. Let's see if he is okay. There are some banelings. Uh, banelings. Okay, okay. Oh, even uh, Edrix, I think, paid attention moving this. Overlord, so they are both paying attention very good. Nuke, ooh, that's a lot of dead bailings. But at this point, I think the Chiedrix can kinda solo this. Because he is maxed on diamond bags, he has 57 diamond bags, that's a lot. The parasitic bombers are still a problem. Okay, I need to kill Zeratul. Ooh, 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 ooh that's a. Uh, down to three overseers on low HP. Okay, yeah, killing the vipers is a really good help. Okay, just to deal with the poops here. I don't know the mutas. Okay, there's only one viper here left. Okay, I think these overseers are all dead. But I think now it's it's done. Even if Zeratul comes, they can st stall. Uh, long enough. Yeah, what's it? Uh, wait, was it the double tower? Yeah, I think it was. Oh no, then no, it wasn't now. And now we have the double. Oh, okay. Killing this. Okay. Now this tower. Scourge deal with all, almost everything in the air. It's good. New overseers have arrived, and now one last final wave, if it's even necessary to deal with it. Uh, we are Tannis, Raynor, Zagara, a lot of stuff. If he wants to call the way versus prop says uh, Jedrex, yeah, it's uh, still is pretty good. Okay. And that was kind of pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, let's see this uh, score first. Unexpectedly, Edric has more damage dealt because he had constant damage with these diamond bags that deal a lot. Well, as their slime. Okay. Uh, other things weren't even shown. Now, Alexander's damage is. I think here it, it is shown. Also, that he's the dude that he dropped, but they didn't do much. So, yeah, and these uh, that overcharge dealt a little bit of damage that those two that he uses on those monoliths, but doesn't isn't even shown here. You can see vast majority almost 200,000 damage by uh, Fested Diamondbacks. Uh, uh, for Judas Banelings, of course, most damage. You don't want to use a lot of Zerglings not to get them propped. So, uh, Scourge and Baneling Spawn. No, oh, this is actually pretty much a surprise. Probably because uh, usually Zerglings have much more, so this is a lot less. But I I kind of am used to having like uh, Baneling Spawns dealing like uh, 2, 3, 4% of damage. But I think this is the most damage by Baneling Spawn I ever saw, like 14. Uh, 0.7%, like 22,000 damage by Baneling Spawns. That's actually a lot. 
Yeah, because he made mo lot lot mainly's like not just uh, the free ones, but he made uh, he made a uh, lot of. Uh, uh, Bane links from Zerg links also. Uh, let's see master is in fast structure cooldown now I would be using the I would be using the volatile fast spawn chance because of Alexander Alexander would be more efficient with that and you you are not using it fast structure So it's kind of waste that mastery. I mean you don't have compound is also in fact compound, but uh, Just for Alexander. I think it's worth it and uh, apocalypse cooldown mech attack speed of course the Master is you when you have Alexander you want to use it, but Apocalypse is much more important over here. And Alexander also spawns the, the, the free dude, so that's uh, get propagated. It can be shallow, so yeah, of course. And of course, Scourge Queen, Zagara, and Queen Region, Zergling Evasion, and Bailing Attacks damage. Uh, mastery, let's see the let's see the overlay. Okay, here we go. So you can see not even a lot of API needed for this for Jedrix. Uh, Judas, of course, is for a lot of this API is uh, spamming Zerglings and morphing Bane links. But they did a good job. They were very, very well synchronized. Uh, Jedrix uh, did kill uh, a lot of props, most of the, uh, a lot of heroes, most of them. But it's kind of surprising that uh, even the Judas actually killed uh, 11. I thought it would be more in favor of Jedrix. And it's only uh, what uh, okay they didn't I think they didn't kill the last few of them because game ended but it's uh, it's only 27 heroes which is uh, a bit surprise surprising I was expecting like 40 ish heroes uh, so hmm mm -hmm. didn't count them in the game but it was. Okay, I mean 27 is still a decent number of heroes to fight, especially because they did bonuses. So hmm, I don't know if this is uh, correct. Uh, we'll see when we have solo. I'm pretty sure that I saw a lot more heroes, or when I was soloing just against heroes. Prop wise, of course, Judas kill most because this was this main job. So uh, it's pretty good division of duties skills wise. Uh, you see that they are pretty even. They did both bonuses. A pretty, pretty good game. Also against pretty annoying enemy composition. The Benic uh, Scourge. Although I think it would be worse if he, if they have, considering the Genetrix was using Diamondbacks, if they had like some heavy mech composition like, uh, like a Terran mech or. Uh, yeah, I think it would have been worse actually, or some or some heavy toss composition like River Disruptor that would be a, a really uh, bad for uh, just Diamondbacks. So uh, it actually it's not the worst. Uh, Bending Scourge is not the worst. It's just uh, you know, that you, you have to make a lot of overseers because you lose a lot. But uh, yeah, it's still annoying. Could have been easier comp <laughs> okay so uh that's it guys for this video stay tuned uh, uh tomorrow i'll be casting a solo run on this challenge so uh yeah thanks for watching you can support me on patreon and see you guys